Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Paul Richards here with Huddle Cam HD, and I'm excited today because it's season one. Uh, season, sorry, episode one of season two. It is the first live show we've done in 2017, and that means we're starting a new season here at Huddle Cam HD. Camera demos, live streaming tips and tricks. This is going to be our brand new auto tracking camera opening of the box and live demo, and we'll give you a brief demo of the interface as well. So we're really excited about this show. I think you guys are really going to like it. As you may know, every live show we donate to charity. So we donate up to $20 per live show. So if you like this video you're going to add another dollar for the week subscribe for two dollars and then whoever the maximum amount of live concurrent viewers we add an additional dollar amount to up to 250 dollars so this simple track camera is going to integrate directly with learning management systems so if you're a school out there or someone using blackboard or kaltura or media solutions or panopto you can stream directly the video off of this camera directly to uh, your learning management system, but you can also stream it directly to any web conferencing system because we're including a USB input so that you can do GoToMeeting, WebEx, Skype, all of those softwares are going to work with this. It's really a USB conference camera style uh, auto tracking camera, but we're also providing HD SDI for those of you who want to plug it right into a new tech TriCaster, a Wirecast gear, or anything that uses a professional broadcast system with HD SDI. So it's a pretty cool little solution. What I'd like to do is go ahead and take the opening of the box video full screen and kind of walk you through what you're looking at here because there's two versions of this camera. So first of all, you know, here's the product uh, code. It is the HC Simple Track. And we're going to have two versions of this, a ceiling mount version and a tripod mount version. The ceiling mount version will have an adapter for wall mounting as well. So there's your regular 12-volt uh, DC power that's included with the camera. Um, this is the ceiling mount edition, so it's got the little pole mount adapter so that you can ceiling mount this directly to a drop ceiling. And that's a really great way to put the camera roughly 20 feet away from your subject uh, in a ceiling that is anywhere from 8 to 12 feet uh, above the floor. Here's the camera itself. As you can see, it has two cameras built in. There's a wide-angle camera at the base and then a 20x optical zoom. Here you can see the direct SDI and network connections at the bottom and the power connection, uh, which is through a Phoenix connector, which is very standard. So the SDI is uh, a, a new thing that we've decided to start including in our camera. And the reason why we did that is simply because SDI is one of the most reliable, easy ways to extend video uh, over long distances. So what we provide is an SDI frame grabber, uh, which I will show you guys in a moment here, and it allows you to simply take in the SDI uh, and convert it to USB 3.0, whether you're using a Mac or a PC, and plug it into your camera, and it'll be recognized in GoToMeeting, WebEx, Skype, whatever web conferencing platform you are using. So let's take a look at the website. As you can see here, here's the simple track right here. Um, when you pull down the drop down menu it's that last one there and you can see here the uh, data sheet and manual are yet to come but this camera is now in stock and I have one to show you guys and it will be shipping Q1 meaning anytime this month it will be shipping um, you can see a couple pictures here and I'm really quickly I don't think I'm gonna show the video because I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a live demo but let's just look at the features here uh, auto tracking uh, USB 3.0 plug and play, uh, really tight three degree field of view. So it, this really can go up to 50 to 75 feet from a subject as needed. You can use your favorite web conferencing software and we've got some really great installation options for both ceiling mounting, tripod mounting, and then wall mounting to come soon. Um, so that's really just the basics there. Why don't I go ahead and show you guys the interface. So this is the interface software that's available for any Windows computer and it allows you to control the camera over the network. So now you're seeing, this, this will track me right now if I just move over 
It will follow me around the room. I'll do a live demo of the tracking in a moment here. But what I wanted to do was go over the software. So as you can see here, the software has uh, the ability to go ahead and stop tracking for a moment, okay, and use just control the camera directly over the network. So I can zoom it in, zoom it out. Here's the camera box right there. And uh, we can open it up and do what we need to as needed. Um, we can do the focus, near and far, iris, basic stuff. We can set and call presets. So, for example, if I wanted to set a preset on this box, on the, the camera box itself here, I would just go, now preset 1 is an important preset, and I'll explain why, but preset 2, we'll go ahead and set. And then if we go away from that preset, let's go ahead and just test the zoom out maybe on something here. What should we test the zoom out on? Why don't we do, we'll just zoom further into the logo here to really max the zoom and then we'll go back. Here we go. So that's the maximum zoom. Look how crystal clear that comes through. Super clear. So now if we hit the call button, it's going to go back to the preset that we set. So that's how that works. There's a white balance. Let this jump up a little further. And then there's some advanced settings that I'll talk about in a little bit as well. Now on the right hand side, see this camera list. If you have multiple cameras on your network, you can then, uh, it'll populate here in this area. So that's a really nice feature, allowing you to easily manage multiple cameras on your network. Now if we go into the advanced settings, that's going to open up both of the far end and the, uh, oh, it actually moved where it was. There it is. Okay, so here's the advanced settings here. I have to, I have to zoom out just a hair. Bear with me here. It's just a little bit so the whole thing's shared. There we go. So in the advanced settings, um, we have the ability to choose the video format, which we can go all the way up from 720p 60 to 1080 60 and all the PAL formats as well. We can choose a baud rate. We can choose a control protocol. Visca or Pelco, and then we can give it a device address as well. Now, the tracking zone is really the important part here. So, what we can do is we can say that certain areas we don't want it to recognize as a tracking area. For example, let's say there's a door, there's a door right there, and let's say we don't want people walking in and out of that door to be, uh, you know, affecting our tr the tracking of our camera. Well, now we can just select this area, and that door will no longer be part of it. Although, for, for the purposes of what we're going to be doing in a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and select the whole area there, because I'm going to walk all the way over there and back in a live demo in a little bit here. Now, there's also something called a blocking zone. So if I was to say that I do want that whole space, but I just want to block this door, you can do that as well. So there's block. You could have up to eight blocking zones, which makes it a really advanced area. So you save it, and you can go back and forth from blocking areas as well. Now in the tracking areas here, we have the ability. This is one of the um, the fun parts of this. Um, this uh, is that we can do auto tilt, auto zoom, permanent track, and I have it currently set for just free track. So what that means is if auto tilt and auto zoom are not in place, it's just going to be going left to right. Um, auto zoom allows it, if you get close to the camera, to zoom out. If you go further away from the camera, to zoom back in. So we have those features and it really allows you to drill down on what your application really needs. What we found is that a lot of educators don't need it to be zooming in and out so much. They just need it to follow them left at right and they want to fix the amount of zoom so that they can show, for example, a blackboard or a whiteboard in the view while they're being tracked automatically by the camera. So there's, a, there's reasons for a lot of these features that have taken us a long time to implement, but they're here now and this is a really great new product. Um, we also have some parameters as far as tracking sensitivity, pan and tilt speed, zoom limit, 
and then a, uh, a lost timeout. So if it does lose the object completely, when and where will it go back to this preset one I have selected as to go back to, okay? So we'll click OK there, and we'll let that be. And now you can see here it's gone back to the normal settings. There's just a couple more things I want to show you in the software, and then we'll go back to, uh, we'll do a live demo here. So in the configure section, we have the ability to, to actually stream directly off the camera via RTMP. And we've got the RTMP port here. We can set it for a static or a dynamic IP address. You can see the IP address here, the mask, and the gateway. So it's, it's, it's best practice to put this camera on your network with a static IP address. Uh, and that all computers on your network can then see it. Uh, give the camera a name. So that if you have multiple cameras on your network, you can then see them all named, whether it's classroom one, two, three, or four. We have a simple naming system here. Then finally, every simple track system is coming with a 64 gigabyte um, SSD or sorry, SD card. So you can slip it right into the bottom of the camera. I'll quickly uh, I'm gonna break to this part. And I want to show here at the end, see that there should be, uh, I guess the SD card is actually internal to the camera. Um, and uh, basically, it actually gives you 64 gigabytes of space to play with when we're talking about internal storage on the camera. So there it is there. We can have it manually record. You can access it directly off the camera once the files have been recorded. So let's go ahead and do a, a, a live demo. So when I hit start here, it's going to go back to preset one. Whatever the tracking home preset is, that's where it's going to go. So right now, it's gone back to that preset. I am connected via an XLR cable, so I'm going to have to kind of free this up. So it's going to follow me. This is my microphone cable back and forth as I move back and forth that over there um, so it's really really nice and what I'd like to do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this camera out of our way and I'm gonna use my main camera to show you this is a 20x camera here I'm gonna unplug it because it's gonna be in the way of my main camera and I'm gonna show you what the camera looks like on the tripod so remember we mentioned there's a tripod option and there is also a um, a uh, ceiling mount option and a wall mount option is what they are working on currently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my main camera feed, bear with me here, and I'm going to pan it over and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So let's switch over to this feed. So this is my main camera feed, turned off the color key, and I'm just gonna set a preset here so that I can go back to it very easily. Now I'm gonna zoom out and show you what the tracking camera looks like as I move around the room. So there's the tracking camera there. Boop. And it will follow me as I move back and forth around the room. You can see it panning and tilting around. So that's how it works. And uh, it is a super affordable USB conference camera with auto tracking built in. We really think it's going to be a, uh, a success. Boop. There we go. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, I'll in the chat room. It uh, looks like there's a couple questions. I'll go ahead and answer right now. So the first question is about price. Well, I'm not surprised you guys are asking about price. Let's go ahead and pull up the MSRP on this camera. So there's two prices uh, that are publicly added. So there's an MSRP, which is 6049 And then there's what's called a MAP, a minimum advertised price. And I believe that price is $5,495. Um, that does include all the mounting hardware, whether you go for the tripod mount or the ceiling mount, and it also includes the um, 
64 gigabyte SD card, a frame grabber, and I believe a 25 foot HD SDI cable. It could be a 50 foot cable, but remember how that works is SDI comes out and you extend it all the way to wherever you need to go. It can go up to 300, 400 feet, no problem. And then we plug in the frame grabber there. So that's, that's why we've done that. It's much more reliable than m many USB 3.0 extensions that we've had to deal with in the past. So there's a 20x optical zoom. Someone's asking about the field of view. Um, the field of view for this camera is 60 degrees wide, 3 degrees when fully zoomed in. So you can see across the room, I was zooming into like a label on this box here. Um, it's very well zoomed. And, and usually the way I think most people are going to use this is that you're going to get it to the set position. You know, want it doing a whole lot of zooming it's more tracking left and right seems to be the main um, system now someone's asking about the IP interface and the networking um, does it support RTMP streaming yes it does support RTMP streaming and yes you can control the camera over the network and you can um, also uh, stream RTMP at the same time we do not have audio built into the RTMP stream. That is for backup recordings. The main recording is, is going to come off of your SDI uh, to USB 3.0 connection. So yes, this will work directly with Skype for Business, GoToMeeting, WebEx, and etc. So let me just kind of comb through here. There's a couple of last things here. Um, Someone's asking about the frame rates. We do actually support broadcast frame rates. So that means we can do 1080p 30, 1080p 60, but we can also do 29.97 and the 59.94, I believe it is, so that this will plug directly into the broadcast systems if you're using one. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I apologize the manual is not ready. I, th I think it's, it's just been completed. Um, and yes, these cameras are ready to ship in Q1. So really excited about that. And I believe that wraps everything up. I think that's all the time we have. Thanks. And if you have any questions, just email sales at huddlecamht.com. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching episode one of season two.